and I also have fancy I also have five volts going into the audio chip which I didn't have before when my new chips arrived I'm going to try to remove this DLC655 put in a new one and hope that that brings audio back onto this motherboard and a touch of flux Hopefully we can get that off without losing any of these tiny capacitors next to it. If they move, I would think it's game over. I'm not going to try to attempt to put these back on without some type of microscope. Let's swap hands. I think that's sold out itself back onto the board. Come on. I must admit, I was getting a bit worried there. I might have moved a capacitor. Clean that up with a bit of, bit of alcohol. Too bad, I'm going to check that with me. Check that with me, me eye loop. With me little eye loop. There's the pins. I'm going to put a tiny bit of fresh solder on. Some fresh solder on them pins there. And hopefully, if I can line this up right,
the other YouTubers make this a lot more, make it look a lot easier than what it actually is. That's the best I'm going to get it. I'm going to drag it back into shot. I'm going to heat that up. Hopefully it's just going to pop itself into place. There it is. Is it on? We'll give it a nudge and see if it moves. On. I'll check it with me loop bridged. There's a bridged pin on there. Let's see if I can touch it up. It had to be right next to this capacitor. The copper. Okay, smaller tip. Ah, oh, I'm stressed. Stressful. So this is, this is what I'm doing, I'm rubbing a little bit of solder over each the length of the pins on one side and then I'm removing the excess and the bridges with a little bit of solder braid and I'm doing one side at a time and checking it with me, me eye loop to make sure that I've got no bridges. Okay, I think I've managed that. I've had a good look with the eye loop and I can't see any solder bridges. I've given it a clean up with some alcohol. I apologise for the the poor the poor camera, but it's all I've got. Um so I'm gonna put that back together, get it powered up. Uh we're gonna boot up to Slacks uh from C D and we'll go online and we'll see if we can get some audio playing out of that new chip. So I will be back in a more. Okay, so that's the motherboards back together. We've got the CD. I'm going to boot this up. Got no power. Why have I got no power? So I haven't plugged it on at the wall. I'm an idiot. There we go. So that's it for today's video, sadly I wasn't able to, to fix the, the sound on this motherboard. Um, I think I did successfully replace the chip. I don't know if the problem is between the chip and the, and the output, the audio output, or whether or not it's a software problem and Linux Although it, it recognises the chip, the chip does come up as a 655. Um, but at the moment, we've still got no audio output, despite putting a new chip in. So this one's going to go on the back burner. I might do a, a revisit on it, perhaps at a, 
at a later date. Uh, but the motherboard works. The sound works on the on the PCI card, so it's not it's not all lost. Anyways, thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you in the next one.